What's up guys, Until Nick here, and welcome back to an episode of Steam World Heist. In the last episode, we uh, got a new ally here, which was uh, Beatrix, and we're now heading over to our uh, boss of this world, and we um, actually were able to reach up to it, and now we're gonna actually beat the boss here which um, requires four members, also has four stars because of the four members. Um, doesn't have any epic swag, um, all we have to do is eliminate Chop Su and evacuate. So Chop Su is basically the boss of this area I guess and we have to take her down. So um, I'm gonna go with our least experienced people. So Sally here is our most experienced. I don't know if... Alright, Seabrass is least experienced. Actually no. Alright, we'll have Ivinsky. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Actually, should we switch out Piper with Seabrass? I probably would because we already have uh, Valentin, who's our sniper class. So let me get his weapon out, which was this one, right? Yeah, I think so. Alright, um... Do we even have a shotgun weapon for... We do. Okay. Um... I actually should probably go with... This, to be honest. Because it does 6 damage instead of 4. So, yeah, I'm actually... I'm gonna go with that. Actually, no, it doesn't have laser sight, though. So I'm gonna go with... The 2 attack. Alright, uh, oh wait, we don't have four, um, supply kits. We only have three. Okay, well, I'm actually gonna go buy one, another one, I guess. Because having a supply kit for each member, I feel like, is ne necessary. It's also, um, very useful, too. Alright, uh, and it doesn't look like it's over here, so I think it's a gas bar that we got it. So I just have to go there again, and that will probably give us a small repair box. At least I hope so. Alright, we'll see. Um, okay, there it is, yeah. It's only three hundred dollars too. Oh, we have inventories are full. Okay, so we have to get rid of something. Um, huh? That's a hard decision to make. I guess scope carry on because we already have a better scope weapon than that. So yeah, I bought the wrong thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me go sell that, too. Okay. So now I think we're good. We're now gonna head over to our boss here, Chop Su. And... Hopefully... Be able to beat him with no casualties. So here we go. Alright, uh, Beatrix, I feel like, has good sub-weapons or whatever. Uh, who should have, yeah, I think Valentine should have the spray. And then, it's another small repair box. Uh, what's his name, Seabrass? I feel like shouldn't have brass knuckles. I feel like he should have... Brass Gog. Actually, no. Because I don't think his gun has critical hit. No, it doesn't. Who does have critical hit? Okay, she, he does. So he's probably the only one that would be good for Brass Goggles. So I'm going to give Brass Goggles to Valentine. Um, see, Brass, since you don't have any grenades with you, like these guys are explosive power, I'm going to have him have the grenade. And then for Ivinsky... I guess we'll have him. Oh, wait, we'll have him have the scrapper sidearm, and that should be good, hopefully. Because like the small repair box is probably the most important, because of boss fights, 
you'll keep getting chip damage and stuff from like the enemies and stuff and you definitely want to heal sometimes alright so we got chop suit here step into my shop cowbots even though you are intact for now I will not let you hinder my plans you might accept living under the boots of the royalists but I will take everything from them I stole this ancient gizmo from one of their warehouses chopped it up and figured it out it was giving me the power to raise broken down parts into new life soon me and my army will take all the water from the oppressive royal space force prepare to be scrapped and rebirth into beautiful scrapper children okay so she does have an army here probably taking out the army is the best bet um just overall and stuff but the hard part is like assigning someone to each position I guess okay um how much HP does chops do have 90 okay I thought she had 50 but not 90 all right I'm gonna have Valentine go over here I'm gonna try and take out this guy here Wow, I'm oh my god. It's already turning out pretty bad. Um just gonna take him out. Wow, really oh my god. This is turning out really bad. Alright, at least I did some damage to those guys. Alright, it, it would have helped if actually my controller would work too. Like, holy crap, this thing has desync. I, I also realized that my uh, Switch Pro controller also has desync and really bad desync too. Alright, looks like Chop Su actually doesn't attack. At least it seems like that. She really just summons these annoying enemies. There goes my hat. Uh, okay, Seabrass, you're gonna go behind here. Please. Okay, thank you. Only took me five shots of the A button to actually make it work. Alright, so we took out him at least. I'm gonna try and get a piercing shot here. Do a lot of damage to everyone. And that did a good amount of damage, okay. Um, I'm gonna have Ivinsky take out the top guy up there. That's good. Um, and then Beatrix just take out this guy. Nice. Alright, so I think, is that all the enemies? That, oh, wow. She can jump high. <laughs> it's like Mario or something like that. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Beatrix, turn around over here, I guess. Really got no other option. Alright, that did hit Ivinsky, but because it did hit Ivinsky, he's actually able to use his payback ability. Um, now we can't go in front of Sue, so we have to go behind. Um, I'm gonna have actually Seabrass take the upper shot here. Wow, oh, I forgot. Okay, I didn't notice the barrier there. That's my bad. Uh, and then I'm gonna have Ivinsky take the lower area just because of his arching projectile. Which did not. Wow! And that hit Beatrix. Sorry, Beatrix. Alright. Just shoot him twice, do some damage. So, Chopsu does have the ability mend, which isn't too bad but it adds up okay so she can attack she does have a melee attack but you have to watch why we actually now that I think about it I think I Vinsky's stuck 
Well, I guess now's a good time to use his uh, steel abs or whatever. Okay, he can jump down, though. Alright, I'll have him do that, I guess. I don't know if Chopsu can jump this high. But... Actually, yeah, let's just have them both at the top here. Because since she's a melee attacker, it's not like she's going to do anything because they're out in the open. Alright, um... I'm going to have him actually use his grenade now. Hopefully... Okay, never mind. He can't reach... Oh, uh, he can... Actually, no, that didn't work. That, well, that won't work. So, our only good option is to shoot it right there. That does a good amount of damage. Okay. Uh, we'll have Valentine go over. No! Oh my god! I mean, it's still a good spot, but like, I did not want to go there. This controller is so bad. There we go. At least I got something that I wanted to do done. Nice. That worked out. Alright, so she's going to use Mend again. Alright, so she can't jump that high. But she can jump, double jump, I guess. It's great. Alright, I'm going to have Beatrix actually use her repair box there. Or his repair box. Still don't know if it's a guy or a girl, to be honest. Um, Ivinsky, I feel like you should step back. Unless he's going to use his iron abs, but I don't think he will. Actually, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and do that. See what he, what, uh, Chopsu can do. So with abs of steel, he can't do anything. Alright, um, actually now, okay, never mind. I was going to use my, my grenade, but this is, uh, just as good, I guess. Because if I use my grenade, Seabrass would get hit, but... Ivinsky wouldn't because of his steel abs. Alright, just you try and get through my Techromantic shield. Alright, we have to hit him in the back now. Just what I needed. Except for the fact that it didn't do enough damage. Wait, okay. For a second I thought she actually did damage, but she didn't. Um, we're going to have Valentine just take out this shield now. And then do some more damage. Uh, Beatrix should probably not. Okay, not yet actually. Later on though, she'll uh, attack. Then I'm gonna have. This is a risky move, but I'm gonna have. Um, actually, Seabrass should probably move too, because I'm thinking of having Ivinsky just shoot straight up and hit her, but. That would hit Seabrass, and I don't really want that to happen. So, I'm gonna have Seabrass go over here. I mean, I think Chopsu can just jump right down and hit us, but I think it's okay. Nice. Alright, so now she's down to 37 HP. That's pretty good. She's gonna um, summon some more guys, but that's okay. Alright, maybe it's not okay, because two of those guys are melee attackers, two of them are long range, and two of them are explosive also. So. Actually, I don't think this is a big deal, because I can just do this. <laughs> They're both dead. So that worked out. Um. We'll do this again, because why not? That actually does damage to um, Chop Su also. And then we'll have we'll actually put the grenade in too, and that would work. Hit both of them. Right there. Nice. And then Valentine, do a couple hits. Alright, let's see how you handle the full onslaught of my children. I can always make more once you're scrapped. Alright, so now she increased the threat level to 3. It's pretty bad. 
Just gonna do a melee attack to- Wow! Did that do four damage or three? I don't remember, but her threat level hasn't uh, been activated just yet because um, like last round was when she like put out all her enemies. So she can't do it this round. <sighs> all right, so will this take her out? Not yet. But I think Beatrix might actually be able to finish her off. Actually, n no, I don't think so. Because this only does five. Even if it does hit. Yeah. Alright, so she's at three HP. That's not too bad. We can probably just take her out. Ah, uh, okay. That's real cute. Use your shield the last second. Alright, can I ricochet this? Yes, I can. Actually, pretty good, too. Pretty good shot. Nice. Alright, so then... Let's blow her up. And there we go. <laughs> Even though I hit myself there, it's all worth it. Let's go out in uh, fashion there. And you get this little cute, like, banner, too. Chops dude defeated. Which only happens for, like, the big bosses. Alright, so now we gotta evacuate. And the threat level's gone, so... It's pretty much just... Get into the evacuation area. Also, they have this really, uh... Acapella um, victory theme. It's actually a really great song. And there we go. Chop suit or chop shop successful. No casualties. Four star objective. And we had a 40 star in total um, for the outskirts here. Um, anyway, Beatrix got a new ability, which is B's Launcher. As a free action, fire a powerful rocket that deals up to 10 damage inside an area. So basically a free grenade launcher, which is always good. And then uh, Ivinsky got his melee damage up by 1. So a free um, Iron Knuckles, I guess. And then Seabrass got plus 1 HP, which is a free body armor. And there we go. I gotta put Valentine's hat back on, but other than that, pretty successful. <laughs> Alright, welcome back. Glad to see you safe and assembled. That boiler might have been raising corpse, but she was not entirely misguided. We're all just living under the boots of the royalists at, out here in the outskirts. We've managed to avoid jail so far, ma'am. Now that Chopsu won't draw their attention, we might keep it that way. Let's head back to Lola's to stock up and see if there's any work out there. But I'm ready for another adventure now. Well, too bad, Valentine. <laughs> Alright, setting course for Lola's. But before we do that, we got a little trash container here. I think this is actually where we get our uh, new ally who is Fen or in this case pile of scrap Bzz, dot not no not dot I seem to be confused you're not a scrapper are you I I don't think so I can't remember well you kinda look like a scrapper I'm Piper Faraday what should I call you do you have a name I think it's Fen yes my name is Fen I think I think I was among the first here. I was emptier before anyway. Okay, Fen. Is there anything I can do to help? I'm still depleted. I can barely move. My power source was stolen. I've stayed alive by scavenging parts from the scrap heaps. I need to find a new source of energy. Just have to close my eyes for a moment. There's possibly something to scourge up close by. You just wait here. I'll see what I can find. 
right, let's see what we can scrounge up. Huh. Okay. I thought, I don't remember that, to be honest. I thought you just got him right away. But apparently we have to do a mission. Whatever else we were doing can wait. We need to find a power source. To that, their junkyard then, Captain? So maybe I'll do this off screen. This is a DLC level of top of the heap. Basically just getting a power source for Fen here. Nothing really that important. Um, so I'll probably do that off screen. But for now we're going to go back to Lola's. And we are going to see what's up. Alright, it looks like Royalist attack here. Let's talk to the captain, I guess. What's going on here? What have you done to everyone? Our wise queen wants us to investigate why you dim-witted steam bots are unable to pay taxes properly. It might just be because of all the scrappers that have been terrorizing the outskirts. Excuses, excuses. Typical damp steam bots. Retreating, or er, re recreating the planet still needs to be funded, you know. You look at the at this dump full of tax offenders. We even heard tales of a spy at this establishment. The proprietor was nowhere to be found, so we had to toss this the, the place th thoroughly while searching. We should send all these slacking steam bots to the work camps commander your presence is highly suspicious but our tax records will reveal if you paid what is your name steambot oh the name's gat parrot that's p a double r e double t well i think i better be off then bye I gotta get out of here <laughs> that's like uh in xenoblade chronicles too it's like What's your, um, driver number or whatever? He's like, uh, eight, nine, three, <laughs> I don't know. Um, anyway. Huh, and here I was hoping to take it easy for a while. These scurvy peacocks think they can come to our turf and mess with our people. Our people? I thought you despised the miners, Seabarras. I hate the royalists more. I do think it's time for us to pay the royalists back in, in kind. Okay, ma'am. It's gonna be a, a nice change, us. It's, go it's gonna be a nice change, us chasing after them instead of the other way around. The outskirts have had enough hardship, and just look at how we handled Chop Suit and the Scrappers. Garg, let's go bother us some royalists. Alright, heading into Royalist territory is gonna be dangerous, ma'am. It's about time someone other than the dang scrappers stood up to them. Alright, set course for the core. So, um, we basically finished the first third of the game, um, being the outskirts here. But then we have the core here, and then, um,. After that is deep space, which is the end. Alright, I'm gonna let this go. By the way, like this whole like cutscene stuff kind of reminds me of like Bioshock and stuff. Especially because that was like a, a little, like apocalypse or whatever, like a future. They waste their power and resources on gathering old junk and artifacts from the past, storing it all in giant warehouses. Is there some grand nefarious plan to this madness? The Queen seems to care scrap all for the well-being of her steambot subjects. Someone needs to put a stop to Yeah, I remember the Queen being butter. pretty tough. She has like dual pistols, kinda like the dualies and um what's it called? Splatoon 2. Um, anyway, though, I think I'm going to end things there. 
So I'm gonna do Fen's mission off screen, but I'm gonna recruit Mish uh Fen and show you guys on screen. So um that will be our new um uh, member in the next episode. But anyway, beat the boss. We're going to the core in the next episode. So um anyway, thank you guys all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Steam World Heist right here on Tell Nick. Bye.